how do you prepare for a long trip? You probably look up the route on Google Maps or watch a walkthrough on YouTube. Or maybe you ask someone who's been there recently. But what if you're bound for a place humans have never existed? Yes, I'm talking about our next door neighbor, the Red Planet. NASA is planning a mission to Mars in the late 2030s or early 2040s. That's too far in the future. So why start preparing now? Well, it's closer than you think. Rookie astronauts spend at least two years training just to go out in space. For every hour they spend in space, they need to spend 10 hours underwater on Earth. This training only applies to spacewalks and the International Space Station. So far, some 600 people have been to space, but humans have never set foot on Mars. Traveling to this planet will require a different kind of training. Is there a region of Earth that closely resembles Mars? The Apollo mission's astronauts trained in Nevada. This is where Neil Armstrong and his fellow astronauts got a sense of what the surface of the moon would feel like. But Mars is different from the moon. It has gravity and an atmosphere. In this aspect, it resembles our own planet. Just one country, to be more precise. Iceland. NASA used this island in the far north of Europe as a testing ground for its 2020 Mars mission. And no, the mission didn't involve humans landing on the red planet. Just a small rover looking for signs of life. But the high-tech robot still needs some practice. Let's do a little test of our own. Compare the landscapes on Mars and Iceland. Are you struggling to spot the difference? Good, that means that scientists have picked the ideal training grounds for the upcoming Mars mission. An area entirely barren and devoid of life. That's how one researcher involved in the mission described Iceland. And this description perfectly matches the conditions future astronauts will encounter on Mars. But what's so special about Iceland? There are valleys that were created by volcanic eruptions. The island is still young in geological terms. Simply put, it's still forming. Lava flows, water, volcanoes, raging winds. Iceland has it all. The country's slogan is the land of fire and ice. The island's population is just above 350,000. For comparison, the city of Cleveland in Ohio has more residents than the entire country of Iceland. But the size doesn't always matter. Remember Euro 2016? When England lost to Iceland 2-1, their players became stars overnight. But Icelanders are closer to the stars than you think. The country has a space agency. Yeah, you heard it correctly. Now, this agency actually consists of two people who are trying to promote Iceland as a terrestrial analog to Mars. In short, this means that Iceland looks a lot like the red planet. The local duo wants to get space scientists to choose Iceland as a training ground for future astronauts. Their biggest argument is that it's cheaper. Sending people and equipment into space is expensive. Duh! According to Elon Musk, SpaceX launches cost around $2 million. That's way less than a typical NASA launch. A large portion of space research takes place back on Earth. Antarctica is ideal for studying cold and desolate places in outer space. Hawaii is perfect for exploring lava tubes and the composition of rocks. Just imagine the logistics behind going to both of these regions at the same time. This is where Iceland comes into play. It has diverse habitats that are relatively close to each other. So what exactly will future Mars-bound astronauts do in Iceland? To answer this question, let's travel back in time. Nevada wasn't the only place NASA's astronauts visited more than half a century ago. They prepared for walking on the surface of the moon in Iceland, too. Their primary objective was collecting rock samples. These can mainly be found near volcanoes and lava fields. And Iceland has plenty of those. Around 60% of the local landscape is rocky and rugged. This makes the island the size of Kentucky feel like another planet. Add that to the fact that 80% of Iceland is uninhabited. And you get the perfect playground for astronauts. And there's another similarity with Mars. In summer, it can seem as if the sun never sets in Iceland. Locals go shopping at 3 a.m. In June, for example, the night can last only two hours. Sounds like a perfect open-air party destination. Well, not really. Who would want a party at a freezing temperature of 42 degrees Fahrenheit? 
That's the average low air temperature in June. Future astronauts spent weeks in Iceland trying to adjust to these strange conditions. This helps them prepare for the long days on Mars. This is not a figure of speech since days on the red planet are longer than the ones on Earth by 40 minutes. That's not much considering the length of days on other planets. On Jupiter, a day is over in just under 10 hours, while a day on Venus equals 243 Earth days. But let's first land on Mars and then think of other planets, shall we? Have you been doing some math in your head? If one day on Mars is 40 minutes longer than on Earth, then how long is a Martian year? Nope, I'm willing to bet your calculations aren't correct. You forgot to factor in an important detail. The planet is farther from the Sun than Earth. This means that a year on Mars lasts 687 days, nearly twice as long as a year on Earth. Sorry, future astronauts. You'll get a birthday cake once every two years. There's another minus to the red planet, literally. The planet's average temperature is minus 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Makes Iceland's climate feel like the tropics, huh? Despite these extreme weather conditions, scientists believe that water once flowed on Mars. And where there's water, there's life. That's why NASA scientists lowered the tiny rover in the middle of a crater that they suspected was once a lake. This is where it stands the greatest chance of finding evidence of life. What about life forms on Mars? Looks like it's not science fiction. The planet has polar caps like Earth. And that's not all. Scientists believe they've even detected snowfall on Mars. Its atmosphere is a hundred times thinner than that of our planet. It isn't a breath of fresh air, but it isn't extremely inhospitable like other planets. On Venus, it rains acid, and the temperature is high enough to melt lead. And on Jupiter, there are gigantic storms that rage on for centuries. Makes you fall in love with the blue planet all over again. Even Iceland sounds fun at this point. You might even want to learn Icelandic. If you're successful, then you can even read Old Norse, the language of the Vikings. And you'll know a hundred words for wind. This will come in handy as wind speeds on the island can reach up to 40 miles per hour. Out in the open, you have to hold on to a fence or a signpost to stay on your feet. Iceland's climate will make you think twice before moving there. But for astronauts preparing for another world, this place is perfect. Iceland is equally impressive underground. In fact, the island might hold the key to sustaining human life on Mars. The surface of this planet is not very hospitable. The soil is poisonous and abrasive. It can easily cut through an astronaut's suit. But underneath the ground, the living conditions are more tolerable. And Iceland has a real-life model of this potential underground dwelling. Lava tubes. Long tunnels carved out by lava making its way to the surface. These maze-like corridors are perfect human habitats. And they're cost-efficient. Nature had already built them for us. Future astronauts can walk through similar lava tubes in Iceland. Who knows? One day, their cautious steps might turn into giant leaps for mankind. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.